If this was in Sephora, it would be getting five star reviews. People would think it was high end. All right, so today I'm doing this makeup look, trying out some indie makeup brands. I feel like it's so easy just to get in like the routine of going on Ulta or Sephora, seeing what's new and just like buying those brands. But there are some incredible makeup brands that are just smaller businesses that aren't as well known or that are like Instagram brands or Etsy brands. And there's some really good products out there from smaller brands. Specifically today, you guys, wait till you see some of the stuff. I actually wanted to do this video months ago, like before I left on my whole traveling thing. So this makeup I ordered a while ago and it has just been waiting to be filmed with sitting in my parents' house. So here we are. I am thoroughly impressed by a lot of the products I tried today. So I'm excited for you guys to see. I need to do this more often is the moral of the story here. So if you enjoy this video while you're watching and you do want to see more of these, let me know down below and you can give this video a thumbs up. Let's get into it. Okay, so pretty much everything else besides like the base main stuff like foundation concealer is gonna be from indie brands, but I'm gonna start off with just primer, foundation, concealer, get the base down. I thought about just starting off with it already done, but might as well show you guys. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Marshmallow Primer. I've been really liking this. It does have a really sweet smell. Figure it out, it smells exactly like a perfect mix between bubble gum and cotton candy. Not that I love putting either of those on my face. So for foundation, we're gonna use one of my favorites, the Dior Forever Matte in the shade 0.5N. I have like a little tiny bit of self tanner left over on right now, so it might be too light. If it is, I have a ton of <laughs> bronzing kind of products we're gonna try. I'm gonna test out the Sonia Kashuk sponge again. This is very uh, large and in charge. I tried this in the last trying new makeup video I did. I find that these kind of sponges are hard to get like around my nose, so I kind of either have to like really squish it down or go in with like a brush. But I don't find that the sponge soaks up a lot of foundation, which is always good. We're back on the dog bed today. If you saw the last makeup video, you know. It's a good spot, good lighting. Parker knows where the good lighting is at. Okay, I just did brows concealer. I went in with the Haley's Beauty concealer, which I feel like Haley's Beauty is considered an indie brand, right? For brows, I did the e.l.f. Brow Lift with the M Cosmetics Brow Pencil. And now to get into the good stuff. So I am so curious and excited to try this out. This is the Salt New York. I've seen them on Instagram a long time ago when I was like planning for this video. I asked you guys what your favorite indie brands were and so many of you said Salt New York. Although speaking of Instagram, I thought I'd mention it here since I haven't said anything on YouTube, but I have a giveaway going on on my Instagram right now for you guys with a bunch of makeup and skincare. It goes on until April 9th, so you can go head over to my Instagram reels to enter. And this is so beautiful. This is basically like the case that you buy separately. They do really good sales all the time. Right now when I'm filming this, I think it's buy three, get two free of like their pans. And this is like a very heavy actual case, so... Not super great for traveling with if you're concerned about weight, but I do think it'll like definitely protect the products. It's basically like a little wallet and it has this super nice mirror on the inside. And then I just took out all of the pans that I bought. So you buy all these individually. So up here we have the adjuster shade, this white one. So basically you can use that to adjust anything, lip color, cheek color, contour, bronzer, whatever you want. Just use it as like a white cream shade. I also have a darkening adjuster shade as well. Here we have a highlight shade, the lightest shade that they make in the bronzer, the light medium shade of the bronzer, contour shade, and then three blushes that can also be used as lip or cheek color. So these are all versatile. You can use however you want to. So I'm so curious to try these, particularly the contour shade and the bronzer, because it's hard to find a shade that's like truly cool tone. And it looks like this one is. So I'm very curious. And also the tone of this one is nice. It looks a little bit dark, but the tone is nice. This one looks a little bit more warm. And then this like blush is just speaking to me. They feel like very balmy and they definitely look dewy. Here's those three shades, the lightest one, light, medium, and then here's the contour shade. By the way, I forgot to note when I was talking about it, but just a heads up, if you are ordering, whoa, almost just hit myself in the head with that. If you're ordering from Salt New York, this took a while to get to me. I don't know if it was just like a, a weird timing thing. Maybe I ordered it. I don't even remember when I ordered this a while ago. So I don't know if like something was going on, but it did take a long time to get here. I know they do like pre-orders with certain things too. And their fulfillment time is a little bit on the longer side. So just 
a heads up if you're like wanting to get this ASAP. Let's start out with the contour shade right here. Is the Apple Watch distracting? I've never filmed with this before. Hold on. <laughs> Let me finish blending out this contour, but then I might take it off because I feel like the glare might be like a little bit distracting. Oh, that looks nice and natural. I like that shade. It's not too gray looking. Just gives like a nice shadow, like a true contour without looking too ashy. These definitely have like a dewy, balmy kind of finish. I'm gonna take this off. It's so crazy how a couple years ago, I didn't use like any cream products. I didn't see the point. I just didn't like them because I felt like, why cover it up with powder? Now that I have cream products I love using on their own, like without powder products, I feel like I reach for creams way more often than just powder products now. It depends on what I'm doing like for foundation and if I'm gonna be like setting my face or using any kind of powder foundation. If I'm using any kind of powders, usually I just go all powder. I feel like that might be picking up some of the foundation a little bit, so I'm just gonna blend that out. For bronzer, I wanna start out with the lightest one, and then if I need to add a little bit of depth, I'll add the darker shade. And for all cream products, I love to use the e.l.f. Putty Primer Applicator Brush. It's the best for cream. It's like dense, small, it just places it perfectly in the right area. And I'm just gonna apply that kind of like a little bit higher, but in the same area. I feel like these are pretty sheer, which is nice because if you're someone who likes to build up your product, I do think you can kind of like work it up. They're not gonna be like too pigmented off the bat. The downside of that I find is that on my skin, sometimes it can pick up the foundation underneath if they're a little bit on the like sheer side, but I'm not not liking it, you know? Definitely more of like a wash of colored look. I'm liking this shade too, the tones so far are very nice. Like this isn't pulling too orange. Cool tone shade wasn't pulling too gray. I'm gonna take the darker shade and use this on my forehead. I do feel like I could warm up my face quite a bit just to like match my arms. This is arm. <laughs> this is the bad tanner still I talked about in the last video. Uh, yeah, still haven't fully scrubbed it off, so would not recommend this tanner. My tan is not looking great, so don't judge the tanner. But I do feel like I need to warm up my face quite a bit. That one's nice too. The one thing I'm not liking as much is that it is pigment product. So if I was doing like a full coverage face, if I wanted to keep my foundation and my face looking really full coverage, I probably wouldn't use these products, but just for more natural makeup days where I don't mind if like my freckles are coming through or it, you know, you just want more sheer coverage, then this is very pretty because it does look super natural. Just like the finish, the color, the one thing this is like so particular to uh, only people who film, but the one thing that I dread about filming with products like this is that anytime you need to find the shade to mention it in the video, I have to like attempt to lift up the pan without digging my nail in. This is gonna apply to no one besides people who film. But this is the shade Rose. I think I'm gonna go in with this one on my cheeks and I think I'm gonna mix in a little bit of, don't need to grab this, peach. Actually, let me first go in with Rose so we can see it on its own and then I'll add a little peach. So here's Rose on its own. Same kind of formula, like very, sheer and then let me add a little peach again the same kind of thing with the formula like it is picking up a little bit you can just see like the dior foundation has good coverage so you can see that those products kind of picked up the foundation a bit you can see my scarring and just some stuff coming through which i don't mind the look of like i said if i'm going for more of natural makeup all right we've got some options for highlighter so like I showed, I have this shade, but then switching to a different brand, I also have this Sydney Grace highlight. I have a few things from Sydney Grace I ordered, some lip products, eyeshadow, and then this highlight, which is in the shade Satin Kicks. This is also a magnetic pan. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh man, there's like no glitter. It's just like a true sheen. That looks pretty unreal. Okay, so by the brand Half Caked, I have this cream highlighter. This one's in the shade Diamond Breakfast. I might do this down first and just see what it looks like. That looks pretty too. And then go in with the Sydney Grace one over top. Oh, I also want to try with the salt one. I don't have enough cheeks to highlight here. Oh, yes, that's very pretty. If you go in with like a stick like this and directly put it on your face, usually that can like lift product up. So I just like to either put on my finger or a brush directly and then go in. Okay, that's really pretty. Very curious about this salt highlight, so I just want to swatch it. There's the salt one. This one has a little bit of like a pinker tone, kind of like peachy pink tone. I'm gonna put this one a little bit more on my nose. This is the salt. 
just to show you, here's the half caked morning view cheek and lip tint. Here's the shade of this one. The formula of this feels very sticky, like pretty tacky. That tone is very nice. Look at the tone of that. Here's it against the salt contour shade. So the salt shade is definitely still more cool toned. And then here's the salt bronzer. So it's almost like in between the two. It has a very nice undertone, this one though, for a bronzer. I have their powder blush, half caked in the shade Bunny. This looks like a MAC blush from back in the day. And then here's the shade Soft Serve. These look pretty similar. Because of how tacky my cheeks are right now, this might be a no-go, but let's try it. I'm gonna do a dab of this, because I don't know how... Oh, that's very pigmented. Glad I just did that. I'm gonna blend some of it off and then go in. This is super pigmented, but pretty color. Something I like to do if I'm going in like this where I haven't powdered my face at all, but I wanna blend out a powder blush with cream products is I'll take a powder or powder foundation. I'm using the e.l.f. camo in not 120, in 150. And with that same blush brush, because there's like a little bit of blush left over on here, which is what I want, I'm just gonna lightly tap in and then just blend out the edges with this just to kind of fuse the blush with the powder and just kind of soften it up. Kind of just want to try as much of these as possible on my face today. So because now I have that nice powder finish a little bit on my cheeks, I'm going to go in with that Sydney Grace Satin Kicks highlighter, which I'm very excited to try. I feel like this might be a major winner just based on how that swatched. It swatched pretty unreal. And typically face highlighters don't swatch well. So the fact that this swatched well, I am excited. I'm just gonna do one. I just dipped my brush in once because it looks pretty pigmented. Oh yeah, it's very pigmented. Holy moly. This looks like the Jouer highlighter or the Hourglass Strobe Lighting Palette. Yes, that's what this looks like. That is beautiful if you want like a really beaming highlight. It doesn't look glittery. It just looks like that strobe like metallic kind of look, which is so beautiful. Wow. So far, this is the standout. You need to literally tap your brush in once or like very lightly because it's super pigmented. Look at that. Oh, holy shitsies. I'm in love. Okay, liking this, liking this. I'm gonna prime my eyes. I've been testing this for a while now, the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Eye Primer. And I like the way the eyeshadow applies on top of this. I do feel like it makes shadow last pretty long. The one thing I don't love is that it is one of those formulas for me where when I put it on because it's completely sheer, it does kind of remove coverage if you're someone who likes to put concealer on your eyelids or you have like things to cover up on your lids, it does remove it. Okay, because of how amazing that highlighter is, now I'm very excited to try out the rest of the things I picked up from Sydney Grace. This is the Summer Days Eyeshadow Palette. The one that I really wanted I'll put it on the screen right here was sold out, but this also looks really pretty. I've heard really good things about the Sydney Grace eyeshadows. Oh, one of the things I thought was so cool when I was shopping on here, and I just it just reminded me because I saw light, is that they make the same eyeshadow palette, but a light version and then a deeper version depending on your skin tone. So I just thought that was such a cool concept because eyeshadows do show up and look different depending on what your skin tone is. I don't think I'm gonna use this today, but I got a single shade of the Sydney Grace eyeshadow in Shamrock. Oh man. Okay, yeah, beautiful. That is the Shamrock shade. Holy shitsies, I wish I wasn't wearing purple because uh, looking a little Barney right now if I go in with this. And then I have this cream eyeshadow called Starry Night. This is only eight bucks. Okay, this looks very similar to like MAC blue brown pigment. Super cool, look at that like duochrome. So I think I'm gonna go in with that liquid eyeshadow and a bunch of these, like as many of these as I can try. I wanna swatch this camping shade. Oh my God, are you kidding? It is so soft too. This is like a beautiful rose gold kind of color with like a champagne reflect. Okay, Sydney is doing something right here with these powders. I think I do wanna set my under eyes first. I use the e.l.f. camo powder, but in the lighter shade now, 120N. Just brighten things up a bit and I'm gonna set that primer on my lid. To blend that in a little bit, I'm gonna take 150, the little, night, little what, darker shade, and just blend out the edges a little bit. I can't get over that face highlight. I'm gonna take that same shade right on the center and just mattify a little bit. Now I'm taking these shadows. I have never been more excited after doing those swatches. Start off with Sandcastle. I don't know what we're going for, how dramatic we're gonna get today. Now I'm gonna take Break of Day. 
Oh, that's pretty. Just blend that into the crease. These are going on like MAC eyeshadows. There's a certain like different thing with the MAC formula of eyeshadows. And this is reminding me of that, just the way they're going on. What could be really pretty is doing this shade with the blue brown over top, like putting this all over the lid and then just dabbing the blue brown pigment over top, or just, I don't know why I'm calling it MAC, <laughs> like calling it by the MAC name, the Starry Night pigment. But we could also go a really pretty copper route. And I think with the purple, that could look pretty unreal. I think I'm gonna go really smoky and take this brown shade, put it all over the lid, and then put some of the copper on. So let's go in with cherry picking. Loving the matte shadows so far. There is zero fallout. And for having this much pigment, being fully matte, and being this dark of a shade, that's pretty rare. Blending out super easily without losing pigment. Copper shade to me feels like I could probably go in with just my finger. I am gonna take a brush and spray it with some setting spray just so I don't get fallout. But I think you might be able to go either way with that one. I literally have no words. Do you friggin' see this? I need to zoom in even more. So I'm doing kind of like a halo eye with this, just keeping it on the center. I want the inner corner to still be dark. Crazy, crazy. This is a natural lighting, folks. There's no like light reflecting off of this. This is literally just what it looks like. I'm gonna take the Basque shade because how can I not? This is like my ideal shade. I love these kind of champagne, super reflective shades. I cannot wait to put this shade just like all over the lid. I have such an intense craving for this donut place in San Diego. I think donuts are in order after this. It'll be my reward after filming. And take the shade again, blend it on the lower lash line, and then darkening that up with this shade. Putting this really close to my lash line with a flat liner brush, and then I'll blend it out. To blend that out, I'm actually gonna mix these two shades. These are so beautiful. By the way, none of these brands know I'm making this video, and I'm not affiliated with any of them. Just FYI. I actually don't think I want to put eyeliner on today, so I'm just going to go in with this mascara I tried out by Half Caked. It's their Totally Tubular Mascara. Here's the packaging. Literally matches my shirt perfectly. Look at that. Looks like rubber bristle curved wand. Whoa, it has a pretty intense smell. Woo, smells very strong. I'm going to put on false lashes, but I first just want to see what this mascara looks like. Okay, I understand the name. Pretty sure this is a major like tubing mascara. I'm getting a ton of length actually it seems to be like building on itself like the more i apply it first i was like hmm, it's kind of a dry formula but it it's really uh building on itself and giving some major length seriously of course wonderful don't you love it when that happens okay i'm gonna let that fully dry down and then flick it off okay that's an interesting mascara i actually think a lot of people might really like that if you're someone who likes a lot of length I think false lashes will look really pretty with this look, so I'm just gonna go in with this random pair I have here that is probably on its last leg. So I'm going to apply these lashes, fix this situation, and I'll be back. Okay, the eyes are now complete. I'm obsessed. I just put on the lashes and then some mascara on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna go with this lip liner by a different brand. This is by Cheekbone Beauty. Sustain lips in the shade sand when I asked specifically for lip products a lot of you said cheekbone on Instagram So I got the lip liner and then I also got this sustain lip gloss This shade looks right up my alley in the shade pink moon I have some other options from some of the other brands too if this like looks too pink or something I did get the Sydney Grace lipstick too. This is in the shade. This is actually in the shade Taylor <laughs> And then we have this shade I think could be really pretty with this eye look, but it's the Half Caked Cake Baby. I'm gonna just, let's just put this on. Let's do the liner. Whoa, very creamy. That went on really easily. Super creamy. I mean, that's pretty on its own just as a lipstick. Really pretty like wearable mauve shade. Ooh, that is pretty. Now let's go in with their gloss. I wanna see how pigmented this is. Oh, I like that combo. Feels very lightweight. Doesn't feel sticky at all. It's not ultra glossy. Like as you can see when I went like that, it kind of took away some of the sheen. It's not like a ultra glossy gloss, but those two shades together are super pretty and it feels really comfortable. It doesn't have a, an added like fragrance. It just smells like a lip gloss. I'm just curious what this shade looks like. Cake Baby, so I'm gonna swatch it. Oh, this is a lip gloss too. Okay, it's like a peachy kind of gloss. That looks like it has a tackier kind of feel just when I put it on it felt a little bit like stickier. This shade Dirty Pop looks promising. A lot of lip glosses that look like this like have this intense fuchsia kind of color 
tend to be very pretty on the lips because it like shears out. Yeah, there it is right there. Whoa, super fragranced. Smells like really strong like lip smackers actually almost. Yeah, whoa, this smells like the 90s. I might add a little bit of this on. Oh, pretty shade though. Intense fragrance, but pretty shade. So this is the final look. I'm gonna tell you my highlights, even though I'm pretty sure <laughs> you know already, but I did pick up a few other things I didn't show. So I'm gonna continue to test these things and I'll update in another video, but I got a Sydney Grace blush, which now I just wanna buy like a ton of stuff from that brand. Some other cream blushes. This is another cream blush, just took the wrong side off. This one almost looks like NARS Orgasm. It's in the shade Popstar. That looks pretty. That could, I don't know if that's supposed to be like a illuminating blush or a highlighter, but that looks really pretty. Okay, let's go through and talk about some of the standouts. Obviously, the Sydney Grace eyeshadows, my mind is still blown. Can't wait to use this green shade. I'm definitely gonna be ordering more of these. Just the way that these go on, the metallic shades, the matte shades, the way that these go on, insane. If there's like anything that you try from this video, I think you need to try the Sydney Grace eyeshadows and then also this highlighter, Satin Kicks. So friggin' stunning. I can't wait to put this on again. Pretty unreal. I also think this could be really pretty as an inner corner shade, as eyeshadow, or all over the lid. Truly, if you did a blind test of these shadows, I think people would like think it was Pat McGrath or something. I also really like the shade of this lip liner. I'm gonna keep trying this one. It's super creamy, goes on very pigmented. It looks pretty as just like an all over lip color too. I'm not loving like the taste of this one. Now I can kind of, it's giving that like, does this happen with anyone else? Certain lip glosses, it feels like you need to like clear your throat. <laughs> Don't think I love like the lip gloss situation right now. And then I'm very excited to keep trying out the Salt New York products too. I like these. I think these are gonna be like a specific kind of look. If you like really natural makeup, really glowy makeup, then you would probably love these. If you're someone who likes more coverage, I don't think these are gonna be your cup of tea. The adjuster shade. Actually, let's just try it as on the lips right now. It says you can use it on your lips. So it looks like a light kind of balmy, same kind of finish. I wanna lighten my lips all the time with lipstick. I love like the look of light <laughs> nude lips as we know. Oh, I love it in that way. Just lighten it up a little bit. The packaging bothers me a little bit, just a little bit, that it doesn't like perfectly fit. That's just me being like weird about that kind of thing. Let me know your thoughts on that. I'm sure it doesn't bother most people, but I'm gonna try to fit something else right here. But specifically out of the shades I tried, I think I'm most excited about the contour shade and then the bronzer shades were both really pretty. Like I would use both of those again. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe discovered some new small brands to support. I'm gonna have everything linked down below in the description box that I tried out today. If you wanna see another one of these videos, let me know what other brands you would wanna see or like specific products. Like if there's a brand that makes a really good lipstick or a really good blush, let me know specifically. Or if there's anything else from these brands that you think I should try out or if you just wanna see more videos using them, let me know. But if you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.